For everyone who's just joining us, I'm working on a special batch of hard candy. This is gonna make about a thousand bite-sized pieces with a monogram for a wedding. It's gonna say H Heart J. On the table I'm working on here, you can, you can kind of tell it's a, a little bit of a special piece of equipment. It is a purpose-made candy cooling table made in 1881. This thing weighs about as much as a Geo Metro. All right, here's the fun part. So you can see here, the, uh, the candy touching the table was fairly cool, but the stuff that's dripping down there is still well over 300 degrees. Mmm. At this point, I need to start folding it over itself, letting the really hot candy dripping down kind of fold over those cool parts so we can get it to a nice consistent temperature. We've got our nice purple here. It's gonna be part of the monogram. We're gonna do purple and white stripes on the outside. And then we've got this, uh, this piece of candy right here. And it's just the, uh, you know, the kind of basic color of the, uh, of the sugar. Started off with um, like white table sugar like you'd put in your coffee. And uh, when you heat it up, crystalline structure breaks down. You can see a little bit of the molasses in here. It kind of takes this amber color. So we're gonna to wanna to turn this back into white. And to do that, all we gotta do is just give it a stretch. And you guys will be able to see it changing for just a few pulls. Are you putting oxygen in it? Not necessarily yeah, oxygen, just, just air. Just air. Yeah, little air bubbles. And you guys can see how it's getting shiny and a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. With each pull, you know, I'm folding tiny air bubbles into it, thousands of them. And they're like little mirrors. They reflect the light. And as I get enough in, it'll be a nice bright white. This is kind of the same principle behind beating egg whites to make a meringue or why icebergs are white instead of clear. Now for the fun part. Now we gotta actually put these letters in. So as I'm working on the letters, it might not be super apparent what part is which. Because when you're making designs in candy, what you see is not always what you get. Actually, it's never what you get. What you see is gonna be a miniaturized cross section. Can you guys see the shape of the H coming together yet? But one of the really cool things about sugar is if you ever need more than one of an element, you just make one big one and then stretch it out. It'll stretch forever. So this H, believe it or not, is gonna be about 50 feet long. All right, so now I gotta do the J here. J's a little tricky. It's really easy to get backwards. Because once you get to this point, you can't really see the letter that well. I met a master candy maker who taught me. You don't, you don't learn this in culinary school. You just have to meet the right person and someone that's willing to teach you. You have to be at the right place at the right time. And there's not a lot of folks that make this type of candy anymore. In fact, we're one of a, just a handful of places that do this kind of candy in the US. So now I'm gonna make the heart, and I want a little texture in my heart here, so we'll stretch a little bit of white with the purple and get a real pretty color out of that. All right. All right, so my heart's coming together. It looks kind of like a triangle right now. We're gonna shape it up a bit. Now when you're working with candy, you have to um, be as aware of the, the white space, the background, um, as you do the actual design, because it's all part of the design. So that's what this is. This is all background. And um, I'm gonna start using it a lot, starting about now. I have to have cooler design elements and a warmer background for everything to come out right. The candy is not real sticky right now. Um, it's, uh, it's reached the point where it's about half cooled down. And so it's got the texture and feel of Silly Putty, pretty much. If, I, if it was about 20 degrees hotter, yeah, I'd be like one with the candy right now. <laughs> if my H, say, gets hotter than my J, if it cools, or if the J cools down quicker than the H, then in the candy, when we, when we shrink it down and stretch it out, it'll be H, really big, hearts, little tiny J. And you know, Gene or Joe or whoever the J is, I would not appreciate that. And then the H would be really huge and then halfway through the batch it would just disappear altogether. All right. 
So that is looking really cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it. And now things are gonna come together really quickly. And believe it or not, I'm actually almost done. I've done the, uh, the tedious bits. I made the H, I made the J, I made a heart. I made myself a roast beef sandwich, just kidding. This is really important here. Once I put this J in, if it's wrong, I'm done, it's over. Like you gotta start over? Well, after I crawl under the table and have a good cry, yes. Dude, that would be awesome. Then I'd have a job that I need to fill in. Yeah, I could learn. Yeah. And who will yeah. teach, who will teach Maybe you'll be fired. <laughs> Not at first. Well, luckily, I think I've got this pretty much straight. So part of the candy that is going to fill this out, because I'm putting kind of a rectangular design into a round piece of candy. There we go. That is so cool. And then. Stripes. No. <laughs> I'll run with them, so I won't. <laughs> All right, there we go. Beautiful. Just gotta make some stripes now. All right, so I've gotta keep this thing moving constantly um, or else it'll go flat. Sugar is a non-Newtonian fluid. You guys know what that means? No. Me neither. <laughs> but I do know that when you Push down on it real gently like that. I mean, I put almost no pressure in there. Look at that big old dent I made in the candy. But then watch this. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, not even a dent. So if, it's like Silly Putty, where if you move it slowly, it will deform really easily and you can manipulate it all kinds of ways. If you move it quickly, it'll break. And so gravity is like a slow push. And this thing, I stopped rolling it for even five seconds, it'll go flat, and I can lose my design that I worked so hard on. Yep. All right. Hmm? I'm stretching it out. I'm taking that design in here, and I'm shrinking it down. Letting gravity help me out a little bit, because remember, gravity is that slow pull, right. which is perfect for what I'm doing. There we go, beautiful. And that design, that H and that J and that heart, if they're all the same temperature, they're shrinking down perfectly proportionally in here. And with a little luck, let's see. This is the best part. Mm-hmm. But using that process, you can put almost any image into the candy. Um, anything from you know, wedding customs like this one to of course all the fruits and little designs for the different flavors. Um, do a lot of corporate logos as well. And it's, it's a really fun thing for businesses to get out. In fact, I had a guy call back the other day that had ordered some candy. He was a IT supply company. And uh, he said the reaction was exemplary. People really enjoyed it, so it's fun to hear. We also still came to a sports bar. They have little dispensers along so you can like have a mint after you have your wings and beer. All right. Okay, don't blink. Would you say 
CD, but an album.